Bite, bite, bite. There, he's on. Fish on. First one of the morning. Sun hasn't even come up yet. And we got our first fish. I think it's a little surf perch. Just what we're after today. And yeah, that's just what it is. Nice little red tail there. First fish of the morning. A nice little healthy red tail perch right there on the gulp sandworm. Only been throwing it for about 15 minutes. Had a couple bites and finally got a taker. So there's a couple of different kinds of surf perch here on the northern California coast. We got barred surf perch and red tail surf perch. And the, this one right here, as you can probably tell by that fin right there, this is a red tail. So these have to be 10 and 3 quarters inches in order to keep. And we'll go ahead and measure them right here with my trusty tape measure. And this one is definitely keeper, right at about almost 12 inches, like 11 and 3 quarters. We're gonna throw in the bag and get back to fishing. I'm out here with Ish with Fish and Mike. I don't think I've fished with, with him before, but if you follow Bay Area Fishing, you might have seen him. Mike's Tackle Box is his YouTube channel. They're way down the beach down that way. And uh, yeah, I don't know if they caught anything yet. Last time I was fishing with Ish, we, he schooled me on the crabs. So we, I brought him back out here to the surf where I know a little bit more what I'm doing. Let's get back in the water. We got a low tide at 9.30 this morning, so we're out here super early before the sun even comes up to try and catch a little bit of that outgoing before it hits peak low. And uh, yeah, there was a fish sitting right in this little hole right behind me, so we'll see if we can get back out there and get a few more. So I didn't get to show you earlier, but this is the rig I'm rocking. It's just a Berkeley Gulp sandworm right there on a Carolina rig with about a, I think this is a one ounce barrel sinker. The exact same setup I used in my past surf fishing bid. So super simple setup and I had a lot of fun using it last time. So that's why I'm bringing it out here. Try and see if we can back it up and catch a few more today. Oh, another bite. There's definitely some fish in here. I've said this before, but Surf perch are schooling fish, so a lot of times where you find one, you can find a bunch of them. Oh, there we go. That was a good hit. Feels like a good one. Ooh, it's coming at me. It's coming at me. Yeah, that was a good one. Feels like a good one. Yeah, there we go. Look at that one. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's a nice red tail. Even bigger than the first one. Look at that, he took the whole sandworm. It's completely gone. Boom. So the first one was about 12 inches. I'd say this one's probably about uh, 13 or 14, that'd be my guess. So you can tell these red tail, apart from the bard, obviously with the red tail, but they also have this dorsal fin, which this one has actually got a little piece missing there. Something must have to, but anyways, normally it comes up and it's just pointed. You can kind of see it there on this one. It's got a pointed dorsal fin. The bard will just have a more rounded dorsal fin on top. So that's how you can tell the difference. They're also, it's kind of hard to tell. I think the red tail a little more elongated, whereas the bard are slightly more oval. Second fish of the day, not too bad. We're gonna get on a little school here. Hey. How about you? I walked down there for no reason. How thick down there? Uh, just one. One? I was like, one bit taller. I was like, one bit taller. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you, you got a little, I think it's a size two octopus hook. And I'm just taking that sandworm and just threading it on, just like so. And you want to get it as straight as possible. 
the octopus hooks have a little bend in it, but that's pretty good. And sometimes you'll get fish kind of pulling on the tail here and it'll pull it down so it's not straight on the hook anymore. And that's why every time I bring it in, I always check it to make sure you get it there as straight as possible. Doesn't that be perfect? But if it's pulled down and there's kind of a bend, I find that I don't get as many bites. So uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right there. Yeah, they'll eat that. Yeah. Oh, I've seen some of our tails come up on SP minnows before. Yeah. Uh, they'll definitely get this. Yeah, I've caught some on Lucky Craft. Yeah. Oh, here's a bite. Got him. Got him. Got him. Man, all these fish, like, once I hook them, they seem to come running right at me for some reason. All right, well, not the exact same size that we got those first two on, but that one is, in fact, a barred surf birch. Those are the first two were red tails. And uh, like I said earlier, I don't know if you can tell on this one, it's kind of small, but the dorsal fin is a lot more rounded. There's no point there. So anyway, we'll get this one back. It's kind of small. All right, little buddy. Go make us many more perch babies. Yeah, the water's really clear here. So I don't know if you can see this hole behind me. We basically got a tiny, it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a cornucopia shape, basically. It kind of, it funnels out and it's, it winds out as it gets out to deeper water back there. And then as it comes in close, right in here, there's kind of like a point. And this is where I caught most of the fish, right at the bottom of this hole. And I think that's where they're coming in to feed and where they saw my sandworm and couldn't resist, so. Oh, there's another bite. Yeah, I think, I think there's a good school of them in here right now. Like I said, high, or low tide is at 9.30 a.m. this morning, and it's about probably 7.30 now, so the tide is going out. We might lose this water eventually, but for right now, there's plenty of water here for these fish to come in and feed. And See if we can catch a few more. Oh, there's a fish on here. <laughs> Look at that, didn't even know it. So I switched it up to a sand crab here and I got our third species of the day. And this is, I believe this is a silver surf perch. These do not get as big as the red tail or barred. But just another surf perch species we have out here. No minimum size on these ones, but I don't like to keep them. They're just too small, not worth it in my opinion. So we'll get this one back. Rain's starting to come down. Gotta put you guys away. another video in the car here. It seems like every time I film a surf fishing video it ends up in here because of the weather but still a fun day on the surf. When we got there it was actually really nice. Hardly any wind, no rain at all. 
But then slowly and surely, as the day wore on, we got to where we are here, where it was raining pretty bad and then gusting probably 20 miles an hour, somewhere around. A fun day out in the surf. We got on a good little surf perch bite there for a little bit. Make sure you check out Ish with Fish. We all know the deal with him. And also Mike the Tackle Box, another local fishing YouTube channel. I'll leave them both linked in the description below. As well as all the gear that I use in this video. The rod, the reel, the hooks, the line, and uh, especially the bait. Today's hot ticket item was that Berkeley Gulp Sandworm. And if you're looking for an easy and fun way to get out to surf and catch some surf perch, that'd be probably my number one recommendation. It's probably one of the easiest ways you can get out and catch fish. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.